Robinson. Savage Sports Fan, please like, share, subscribe. We're a new channel trying to get up and going. New subscribers, thanks for the love and support. Drop a comment, share a video, hit the bell notification for all new videos. Listen, 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 listen. You know, Deion Sanders, a.k.a. Coach Prime, head coach of Colorado football, won Sports Illustrated Sportsman of the Year earlier today. A lot of backlash. I broke that story earlier. So Deion is in Dallas with Jerry Jones. You know who Jerry Jones is, right? He is the uh, owner of the Dallas Cowboys. I believe the last time I checked, I still think they're the most valued NFL franchise, uh, them or the Patriots, but he's been valued for a long time. So Jerry rolled the red carpet out for Deion. Foot, um, a Thursday night football, uh, the Dallas Cowboys defeated Seattle Seahawks, I believe 41-35. Zach, Dak. Dak, Dak Prescott had a good game, three touchdowns, blah, 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 blah. That's not the story. The story is a lot of people that love Deion Sanders are speaking out about this Sports Illustrated award he has got. They felt like Jake Mah um, um, Mahomes should have won it. Um, Jokic over in Denver. Denver had, uh, you know, Denver won uh, their first championship and the center played amazing. Had a legendary run through the playoffs. So people feel like uh, Sports Illustrated is kind of reaching, trying to survive, trying to, you know, make some money in this business, which is a tough business. So they felt like putting Deion Sanders there will help move the needle, make some money, make some numbers, get people talking about Sports Illustrated. But Sports Illustrated, let me give you a news flash, a news break. The only thing people remember our Sports Illustrated is the swimsuit issue. Yeah, that swimsuit edition, edition, that is all people care about. When Sports Illustrated started doing a yearly or quarterly or however they release the swimsuit editions, that's all people care about. Dion winning, yes, it's got, it has people talking, but not maybe in the fashion, or maybe this is it. Maybe they want it to people to talk about Sports Illustrated, and that's what we're doing today. But anyway, uh, Coach Prime is in Dallas. Dallas is laying it all out for him. Um, it's a Thursday night football, and you better believe Jerry Jones is talking football business. Come on, Dion, be a part of this. But down the line, this would not be a, a conversation Coach um, Jerry would have because Dallas is nine and three right now. Do we think Dallas is going to win the Super Bowl? Nobody knows, but Dak is playing very well. Coach Prime is in the place. Everybody's here. Everybody's showing Coach Prime this love. So is it warranted? Should Dion won, um, you know, Sportsman of the Year? Sports Illustrated came out and admitted Dion generated $90 million in advertising revenue for um, college college sports. I mean, I didn't, I didn't think they were hurting for money. And all those teams, I just... Colorado generated $90 million in advertising revenue? I wonder what Coach Prime got on that. Now that they have hard numbers, is uh, Coach Prime, you know, in his right mind to demand more money? I mean, I don't know. Even though they're four and eight, this award was not given for, you know, how many wins or losses. I guess it's just a, a, a commerce type of thing. But anyway, Prime is in the place. Jerry's in the place. Uh, everybody's showing him love. Uh, Dallas is screaming Coach Prime everywhere. Um, all the old people from, you know, Leon Lett, which is Coach is Prime, one of his best friends. Um, of course, you see Steve Smith, everybody from Thursday Night Football with the NFL channel, which is his old employers. This is so funny. He's going back to his old job after getting this award, and that's where he left. He actually left the NFL Network and went into coaching when he went to Jackson State. So it's kind of fun. It's kind of funny. You get back to your, you, you know, your old stomping ground, and they just happen to be in town, and uh, it's good. So shout out to Jerry Jones. Um, shout out to Deion Sanders, Colorado. Shador is there. It was uh, reported today that he has a very, very bad, uh, bad back uh, injury. This is why he didn't play the last game against Utah, even though Colorado played very well. The head, the, the you know their their coach, I mean uh, their quarterback was not there. He looked pretty good today. But anyway, Dallas, 
Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. Could you see Coach Prime coaching in Dallas? Everyone saying, oh, he should leave Colorado. Oh, he's this, oh, he's that. I know Coach Prime does not want to, you know, do his things in the pros, but I honestly think he'll make a big difference because why? He can get the rookies. I mean, veterans are going to be veterans. Veterans are going to be veterans, but I think he can have a great impact on a lot of rookies also this in the NFL on their first run. I think it'll be a little bit better than... Um, you know, I think it'll be a little bit better than what he has in college because some of the things he did, in my opinion, and just my personal opinion, um, I'm pretty sure um, coach is going to probably, a prime going to probably make some adjustment to his coaching style. The things he did with the offensive line last season or the past season that just passed when he says, you know, he's going to change some of these offensive linemen, you know, bring them in, bring them out, just get rid of them. That's a pro style situation. That's not what you do in college. You recruited them in college. Um, in the pros, you can kind of scare them and say, if you don't play better, we cutting you next week. I think that style... Coach Prime may not know it or not that his style actually is kind of catered to uh, these younger teams. He can motivate them a little bit differently. He can tell them how to, you know, keep their money, the mistakes people made, bring in all these women that he did with the college guys. But he can motivate them by letting them know, if you don't play better, you ain't going to be here next week. We are going to cut you. So maybe Jerry Jones can kind of whisper that in his ear like, Prime, you know you belong out here in Dallas. You know you be good out here in Dallas. Everybody loves you. You know how Jerry and no one is a better salesman than Jerry Jones. Mr. Billionaire himself is like, Prime, how much money you want, Prime? You're only making five million over there. With all his endorsements, Prime probably only making nine million dollars. Maybe 11 million. I would say between 9 and 11, 9 and 13 million. Jerry Jones is like, Prime, I'll give you 25 million. How can you turn Jerry Jones down if he offers you $25 million? I'll give you, you coach for us two years for 50 million. How can you turn that down? How can you turn that down, Dion? If Jerry Jones is going in Dallas, no state taxes. No state taxes. Jerry, come on, Dallas. Coach Pine, but I'm getting ahead of myself. They rolled out the carpet for, uh, for, for Coach Prime and his son and his, some of his staff and family and friends, of course. He still lives in Dallas. He has family in Dallas. Colorado to Dallas is not that far. So they, they showed him love and support. But down the road, this is the price tag for Deion Sanders. The next coaching gig if you see if the fanfare keeps up or even is moderate, Deion Sanders is a $10 million a year coach, minimum. You can't pay, you can't pay him under $10 million. It's an insult. This first run right here he's having with our with Colorado, this first contract. Hey man, listen, they made $90 million, according to Sports Illustrated, $90 million in advertising revenue from one man leaving one side of the country to the next and saying, I'm going to bring my own luggage with me and you're generating $90 million? I don't know. So you, that's, that's a hard number to negotiate with. And we can look at what he's... I think his contract is four years plus one or three years, so it's four, four or five years. What is the numbers going to be after four years? Good, bad, or ugly? People are going to tune in to see him lose. So, mm, uh, where's Mark Cuban at? All the billionaires in the house. Where's Mark Cuban? Where's Mark Cuban at today? He sold the Dallas Mavericks. Where you at, Mark? I didn't see Mark out there today. I'm pretty sure he's celebrating with his family. Shout out to Mark Cuban. Shout out to the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, beautiful city, by the way. Um, I always have a good time in Dallas, I actually. And just to let people know, I actually looked at a place in Dallas. I looked at a couple places in Dallas. I do like Dallas. The food is good. Um, I like the diversity. It's spread out. Uh, Dallas got a lot of good things to offer. But I didn't see Mark Cuban out there. It would have been nice to see Mark in the place. 
you know, but he got a Mavericks. He got his hand full. The NBA season in full swing. But Deion Sanders in the house. Jerry Jones is showing him off, showing him a taste of the time. Of course, Jerry congratulated him. And, George, and Jerry's out here um, showing him the love and support that he, he deserves. This is where his home is. This is him, you know, uh, the love that he's going to get. It's nothing going to be like what he get in Dallas. He'll get love in San Francisco. He run a, he run a ring out there. But the love and support he's going to get in Dallas, Texas, is showing um, why people love working for Jerry and playing for Jerry and being around Jerry. You see it today if you watch some Thursday night football. But nevertheless, do you think, even though he won it, drop a comment. Who should have won it if Coach Prime, if Mahomes, uh, Jokic, I think it was a baseball player that had a good run. Um... What about Terrence Crawford? What about Terrence Crawford? Do you think he should have won? Um, Canelo? What about Devin Haney? Devin Haney, 20 years old, I think 20, 21, 22, 21 years old, won all the belts. Sports Illustrated, go check out Devin Haney. Yeah. The next Floyd Mayweather, he may not have the same pop as Floyd, but he still has a good skill set. So if I had to vote, um, even though the world is not into boxing like that, a 21-year-old has all these belts and he went to Australia to win them. In America, is not celebrating Devin Haney, the dream. I'm putting it out here. Devin Haney should have been up. For sportsman of the year. But I guess, you know, it's a commerce thing. Dion made 90 million. I'm not mad. There's no hate towards Dion. You know, this is Dion Sanders' channel. But it's a lot of arguments to be made. But at the end of the day, Coach Prime won it. Uh, Jerry's showing him love. Uh, drop a comment. Share a video. This is Savage Sports Fan. Um, until next time, I'm out.